So I'm back again, climbing the Monroes, and today I'm doing the three Cairn Wells in Glenshee, and there's the first Monroe of the day. Not far away at all. There's the car park, so it's literally about 45 minutes up to the first one. Other two, there's the Cairn Well over there, and the other one's just tucked in behind, so about a four hour day. And just trying to bag, these are on the easy Monroe list. So I'm trying to hit 40 Monroes before the end of the year. That was a target. Lockdown kind of interfered a little bit. But I think we'll still hit the 40. I'm hoping so anyway. Got a couple of easy days planned before the big dump of snow. So yeah, forecast is all right. A bit of fog, but it's looking not too bad at all. Blue skies over there. There it is, my 25th bin row, 25 minutes after leaving the van. <laughs> it feels like cheating, but I'm in rows, I'm in row, I suppose. So that's me off Monroe number one, and on to Monroe number two, which is just straight ahead over there. Doesn't look too far away. And then the Cairnwell to finish is just there with the mast on the top. That'll be the third one. So they're all pretty close. The paths aren't too bad. Oh, how the Scottish weather can change. Absolutely teaming it down. Got soaked. But luckily I brought waterproofs. All the rest. Nearly at Monroe number two. Here it is, Monroe number 26. Well, that was wild. Pouring rain the whole way up. A little bit of shelter there so I can eat some sandwiches. There we go. Number 26 and the second of the day. So not much to see from Monroe number two. Just about at the Cairnwell, the third Monroe and last Monroe of the day. And it's been sleeting, hailstones, drizzle, and heavy rain. So not too much fun from over there. But I'm almost at number three. The most scenic of Monroe approaches. <laughs> At least there's somewhere to sit for five minutes if it was dry. It's got to be Scotland's ugliest Monroe, the Cairnwell. My 27th Monroe. I'm not hanging about long here. Just gonna touch it and go, I think. So, just on the way back down, 
and the route says to go back on that path and join it and go all the way around and back down to the hut in the middle there but I think it's going to be quicker going straight down the steep slopes just next to the chairlift and we're just going to aim for the buildings at the bottom it doesn't look too steep and I think it'll be a lot quicker so all in all quite an enjoyable day in the Cairnwell it's a good one to have as a backup for bad weather because it's nice and short and you're bagging three quick Monroes but it does, it took me longer to drive here and back, I think it's two and a half hours each way five hours and the walk was about three to four hours and that's with stopping and filming with the drone, filming with the camera and obviously with quite a heavy backpack so you could do it in easily three hours so yeah it's a good one to take off some quick Monroes 